kid won the Belmont first push. So there's not even a sign here that'll say like well, not yeah, right, exactly. Like a diner, open 24 hours. Zenyatta. <laughs> Three Breeders' Cup championship races, each one better than the next, starting with the 09, 08 Ladies Classic. And of all our Breeders' Cup winners, and so many, so many special winners, this one struck a chord in the hearts of fans more than any other. Definitely top 10 is my book of horses of all time. And probably top three is Phillies or Mares of all time. Joining who for you? For me, Ruffian. And, and you have to understand, that, that's a kind of a generational thing. You know, Ruffian in the 70s, I was a kid just getting interested in racing and she was kind of mythical. And, Senyata, from more of a professional standpoint, having been around and seen horses, she still gave you that kind of a feeling. I think you got to throw personal lenses into that mix. The, the three of them, to me. She's definitely one of the greatest horses I've ever seen. The, the most unique horse I've ever seen. As far as fillies, um, right, I, I agree with, uh, with, with Richie. I'm just right up there with uh, Ruffy. And I don't think I'd, I, I would ever say that. You know, personal lenses, not far behind. I'm, I'm good. This Friday is all about this great mare as the Breeders' Cup Championships celebrate the career, the legacy, and the people of Her Highness, the Mighty Zenyatta. Of course, the Mosses and the Sheriffs, who were so thankful to for keeping her in the game. There was no brighter star for the Breeders' Cup Championships than the mare who's snacking right now. Yeah, that's the one thing that I, I can feel that was different about her than almost any other horse I was around. It was only two horses I've ever been around in my whole life that I could actually feel almost like this electrical current, this energy coming off of them. And it was Seattle Slough and Zenyatta, where you would get up close to them and you could just actually feel that raw energy, that, that the only way you can describe it, like an electricity coming off them, they, they absolutely threw it off of themselves. I, th I think you, you can feel it, like somebody like me you could feel it on a much, much lesser scale. But just being around her, there there is an, an energy, there is something about her that's different. It's definitely different, and it makes people react to her. Yeah. And just I think it's a, lot, it's a lot like people. There are certain people, they call it charisma or so, which, you know, people have leadership qualities. They have that, that energy that they emit that makes people feel differently about them. Yeah, I, I can't remember in my lifetime seeing people react to a horse quite like this and maybe having this much of a following. It's just been a pleasure the whole time.